Now, this is how you're going to save messages or text messages on your Android device. So it really depends on what exactly you want to do, because if you just have a few um, text bubbles which you want to save and keep on your phone, you can easily open up the messages and take a screenshot of the page. Right, you can do this by pressing the power button as well as the volume button, and you will have a screenshot saved in your gallery with the content, and you'll be able to just keep that on your device. However, for a more comprehensive approach, like if you want to keep your data backed up and safe, you can do what you can do is to open up the settings and on the panel in your settings, find accounts and backup. And there you can see that in my case, I have the option to back it up to Samsung Cloud as well as to Google Drive, which is Google Cloud. So it depends on your device specifically, but you should have the ability to back it up your data to Google Drive. So when I click on it, I have the ability to either back up photos and videos, which is useful. Of course, a lot of people don't want to use that, but also you have the other option of other device data, which includes contacts, call history, device settings, SMS and MMS messages and more stuff in the background. So most definitely choose the second option and confirm it in order for your text messages to be backed up entirely into your Google Drive account. And therefore, if anything happened, you can always just restore that data back. So you have your text messages safe. Now that's it from me. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to do it. Hopefully you did. And if not, just leave a comment saying whatever is going on. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the future.